Welcome to the Empowered Global Women in Business podcast. I am Elle Ballard, a bicultural woman, mother, wife, and entrepreneur. In this podcast, I will help you navigate entrepreneurship as women of the world, a multinational bicultural woman. I will interview female business owners navigating the cross-cultural dynamics of building a business sustainably, ethically and in community. In this raw and real conversations, I will explore what it's like to build a business authentically and on your own terms. If you are a multinational woman and ready to build a business authentically while maintaining your uniqueness and individuality, welcome to the Empowered Global Women in Business podcast. everyone, Elle Ballard is here on Empowered Global Women in Business podcast. Today, I wanted to bring this idea of how your energy impacts abundance around you. You know, I had a great conversation uh, with uh, Leah Garcia last week on LinkedIn, where we talked about how our energy impacts abundance around us. And I wanted to share some of the reminders with you. I think we forget sometimes how everything is connected in our lives. When we bring abundance energy to one life area, it spills to other life areas too. And it could be anything, right? It could be something that you need to to get a promotion if you're looking for a new job and you might be stopping yourself from applying because you saw something some other department in the same company is letting people go and you stopping yourself from applying, right? You know, not thinking abundance, right? Um, and so a lot of the times we we stop ourselves from really progressing and moving forward because we think in those kind of limits, yeah? So the first reminder is belief. So I want to remind you that belief behind what you're doing is so important. Again, it can be applied to any area of your life, whether it's business building, career building, losing weight, getting more exercises during the week and eating healthy, right? If I am trying to lose weight and I believe and I know that I can lose that weight, I'm going to take an appropriate action to lose that weight. If I believe that I'm not able to do that, or any other self-limiting thoughts that I have, I probably will not take a proper action. I'm not going to exercise. I'm going to find other reasons not to to commit to action during the week, or maybe I can do it a couple times a week, and then I can leave, leave it alone. Because really, behind all of that, I don't believe I can lose that weight. So the first one is really your belief triggers your action. And one of the big things about it is also um, up-levels your energy around that because that belief triggers everything, triggers action. It creates more energy because you're looking forward to that. And so you attract more of that. Reminder number two is, you know, we all have different days, of course. Every day is different. And and when we focus on abundance mindset during each day, it leads to more optimism and healthy way of thinking, which in turn helps us activate that law of attraction that I briefly mentioned earlier, right? When we know we have the belief and we, we're almost looking forward to that, Now, I know that's easier said than done, but once we have that awareness and once we have that mindset that we commit to practicing that, we're going to make that a habit. And when we have optimism and a healthy way of looking at things, not emotionally tied in, right, we bring that abundance around us. And one of the final reminders is notice how you feel. So I want to talk about the feeling. When we feel some kind of way throughout the day, and that connects to also, again, belief and conviction. When I'm convinced that I'm going to lose that weight, I have that belief that I am doing that no matter what. I have a specific feeling and energy about it in my body. That 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 desire that uh, conviction generates a specific feeling in my body that is that leads to more abundant thinking 
because that gives me more options, right? Because I'm not thinking in limiting terms. I'm thinking to moving forward with that feeling. And the more confident I am in that belief and in that feeling, I'm taking proper steps to move forward, to achieve what is it that I am trying to achieve, to move forward, to lose that weight, you know, when I'm trying to lose weight, yeah, or whatever it is I'm, I'm working on, I'm still going forward with that feeling. And it's easier to move forward with that feeling once I have that conviction. No matter what the result will be, it will be a, a something that I achieve my goal or I'm going to learn a lesson, right? But the thing of the matter is I'm still going forward and I'm pushing forward and I'm moving forward. I'm, I'm not stopping. I'm not questioning. I'm not asking myself. So this three reminders. So the first one was belief that really triggers your action, brings more abundance energy, abundant energy around you and increases your chances of success. Focusing on that abundance mindset is number two that leads to also activating that law of attraction that helps you attract those things that we are going, you're going after. And the third one is feeling. Notice how we feel throughout the day helps us move forward. And I could also say, um, I've be, I've learned that my body actually gives me answers as well. When I'm working on something, I can ask my body to to give me the solution to the problem or to the challenge. And the way I do that, I I just sit in that space and I and I feel how I feel. I I feel the feeling in my body. I listen to it. And typically, if it's something that I need to be pursuing, um, I I just have this feeling of warmth. My body is. And just get excited. I have a feeling of joy, of, you know, that just excitement, right? That excitement and that energy. Um, and then that that tells me that I am moving in the right direction. And that also, so that connects to the feeling again, feeling in our body. And that is how energy and abundance connect right and um, this is only a glimpse of what we can explore in this this you know connection of energy and abundance and how we can bring more of that forward but hopefully that gave you some reminders today and this of course as always have been empowered global women Biz and business podcast if you would like to be a guest on our podcast you can email us at info at women of the world network.com